my newest addition to the barbecue arsenal, the Nomad Grill. I can't wait to test this out with a new chicken recipe on top of it. Let's get to it. So I just received the Nomad Grill. Let's go ahead and open up the box. It comes with some pretty fun stuff like this beer cooler or this beer holder. I don't really drink beer, so maybe I'll put a Coke inside. And we take out the packaging. Let's open it up. And you can see this beautiful design. This is something that really attracted me to this grill from the get-go. We open it up. Everything is very smooth and very well built. This is the grills. You can see that hexagonal patterns. Goes right there. Clamps on nice and easily. Those magnets will come in quite handy. So really the setup is going to be pretty simple. You know, you put in some coals into a chimney. Let it sit on this side. Light it up. And then you pour them in and you get cooking. Now the vents is really simple. They have four vents, one on each side, both on the bottom and on the hood of the grill. Opens up with four level controls and has of course a built-in thermometer. The handle grip is extremely comfortable, very ergonomic. You can go ahead and walk around with it, no problem. And that's a little bit about the Nomad. But now let's go ahead and make my rub. I'm going to be putting in some molasses, some oil, some onions, some chopped up parsley, black pepper and salt of course, and a little bit of soy sauce. I mix it well, I add it into a bag with the chicken legs and I mix it like crazy. Now I'm going to let it marinate for at least an hour or two, if not overnight. And now for the fun part. Honestly because I couldn't find the chimney, I'm going to be setting up the grill a little bit differently than I normally would. So I'm going to be building a little mountain out of briquette charcoal. I'm going to take a piece of the charcoal bag itself, I'm going to dip it in some oil, put it right in the middle, and light it up. I've used this whenever I went camping, which was never. This is a great trick if you don't have a chimney. Within 15 minutes, it lights the little bit up. It will take a little bit longer than using a chimney itself, but it's a great, great trick if you don't have one. Now, I absolutely love adding a little bit of smoke flavor. On this one, I'm going to be using Bear Mountain's Gourmet blend of uh, barbecue wood chips. Just sprinkle them over the hot coals and give a little nice taste of that smoky, incredible flavor. Oh, by the way, guys, if you want 20% off on all Bear Mountain wood chips, chunks, pellets, whatever it is, check out the information in the description section where I leave a nice little code. And guys, if you're liking this video so far, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section. What are you liking? What you're not? Share your thoughts. I always love to hear from you guys. Now that the coals have lit up completely, we add in a bit more and pour the hot coals right over them. I'm gonna add just a couple more. I'm gonna be doing an indirect cook, aiming for about 250, 275 to make these chicken legs. I put in the chunks, I close up the grill, open up the vents, you see the smoke coming out right away. Now I'm opening them up all the way so that it gets into that hot temperature. There we go, after about 10 minutes, it's nice and lit. I take the grates right off. I add a bit of wood chips right over. You see that nice smoke starting up. And I start to throw on the grill my chicken. I don't know if you guys know, but there is a members block to this channel. It's a couple bucks a month, and there's quite a few nice perks. I'm gonna leave a link for it in the description section. If you're able to join, it helps the channels tremendously. So we make sure that all of the chicken's on the grill. Don't worry even if the flames are popping up. You close up the hood and we're gonna close up one of the vents. You can see that incredible smoke coming out from the other vent. And while it's cooking, let's talk about the Nomad for a second. The Nomad is hands down the best portable grill on the market today. It's heavy duty, it's sturdy, and it's cool as heck. Now what's really great about it, it's a premium quality charcoal barbecue grill and a smoker. It has quite a bit of ventilation and it weighs in at about 28 pounds. It's heavy duty with die cast cook boxes and delivers up to 425 square inches of grilling space. So that's a little bit about the Nomad. Now let's get into a bit more details. The first things first, the advanced thermal architecture. It has a multi-layer construction and patented technology, keeping the outside shells remarkably cool. So the inside could be a burning 450, 500 degrees and the outside is still relatively cool to the touch. The grates themselves are made out of stainless steel and they're actually domed for superior strength and rigidity. They're gonna last way, way longer. 
So here's a little pro tip. If you actually flip those grades, you got a nice veggie basket or something great for making hot dogs or anything that rolls off. The vents are mag vents air controls. Basically, they are vent sliders with high temp magnets for optimal damper control. So no spill, no mess. And what the best part is when you're traveling, ash containment. They seal up so you don't get any ash anywhere. Finally, the handle. I mentioned that it's ergonomic, but the way it was designed was on purpose to be able to carry it all day. And really, once you test it out, you'll be able to see that. Then you have the anodized finished, basically a chemical conversion process that treats and protects the aluminum surface for really an incredible durability and helps to prevent corrosion. And finally, the thermometer. It's integrated in an analog bimetal thermometer, so it's incredibly accurate and really, really high quality. So here's some information from their site. If you buy the extra grate and put on both sides, you'll get up to 425 square inches of cooking space. So you'll be able to make about 30 burgers, 15 per side. That's a lot of burgers for a portable grill. Now you kind of get an idea why I wanted to try this out and why I wanted to get this grill. Now back to the cooking. I open up the hood. The chicken is starting to smoke. It's already smelling very nice, still raw, but let's keep going. About 20 minutes in, time to flip. You want to move things around just so nothing burns. Close it back up and keep going every 10 to 15 minutes. After about 45 minutes of cooking, you should get this beautiful caramelized color on the outside. Probe it and once it hits that 175 internal, time to take it out. And when you do, you're going to be left with the most delicious, sweet, smoky and grilled over charcoal chicken ready to be devoured. Now let me give you my two cents on this grill. So, for the first cook, I made sure to do the burn-in. So to burn off any extra chemicals, I left it long enough so that any chemicals from the manufacturing process were burnt right off. I oiled up the grates and I got the chicken on. So my first thoughts, I absolutely love it. It is easy to use. It is heavy duty. This thing is going to last a long time. And honestly, it's very portable. The fact that I can smoke things and grill things comes in very very handy and the main reason that hooked me to it was the fact that I can actually touch the outside or put it on virtually any surface without having to worry about it exploding or being too hot or damaging whatever surface it's on. I'm going to keep cooking on this showing you guys how it comes out and letting you know my updated feedback on each video. Alright guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.